Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on shapes, rigid and non-rigid. In the last few videos we have spoken about various 2D shapes. We have looked at many different types and have highlighted some of their characteristics. One very important characteristic of some shapes is their rigidity. This is a very important characteristic and has significant impact in many areas of everyday life. Non-rigid shapes. A shape is non-rigid if it can be pulled or pushed out of shape. In the last video we saw how a square and a rectangle can change shapes to form other 2D shapes. A square can be pushed out of shape to form a rhombus, hence a square is not rigid. A rectangle can be pushed out of shape to form a parallelogram, hence a rectangle is not rigid. Rigid shapes. There is one shape, above all, that is always rigid, the humble triangle. This triangle is a polygon with the least number of possible straight sides. It has only three straight sides. The triangle can be pushed and pulled in all directions and it will not change its shape. How to make non-rigid shapes rigid? Given that we have just been told about the triangle, do you know how to make a non-rigid shape rigid? Consider the square below. We have seen how it can be pushed to form a rhombus. What do we need to do to make it rigid? The answer? Just add a diagonal. The same can be done with the rectangle. So you see here, by adding this diagonal, what have we formed? We formed two triangles, one there, and this one here. So no matter what you do, you can push and pull this thing anywhere and it will not change shape because now it's made up of two triangles. Implications for real life. This picture is a roof truss. It is the structure that supports the great majority of houses around the world. The roof truss is constructed with strategically placed triangles. Because of the rigidity of the triangle, the roof truss can support very heavy loads, such as roof tiles. Here's another photo here. The length of the above bridge is quite significant. Hence, it has a large downward force in the direction of the arrow. The reason it can support such heavy loads is because of the large number of triangles used in its construction. As we saw before, triangles are rigid and strong. 